uh, the start of a new year. I like to use this opportunity to think about ways that I can improve myself. You know, I set a few resolutions that I will definitely, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, fail. Maybe you want to dedicate yourself to exercising more, which is a good thing. Or going vegan, vegan, vegan. I don't know. Why in the world would you want to give up cheese? Come on, people. Cheeseburgers. Maybe this is the year you finally get around to finishing that copy of Moby Dick. You know that the bookmark's been stuck at page five for over a decade now. Come to think of it, I think I resolved to read that book back in 2013. Hmm. Why do we always set some lofty goal and come up short? I know I'm not giving up cheeseburgers this year, and I'm definitely not reading some book about a huge well, so why even pretend? I might as well promise you guys I'll have some beach body by summer. Does it look like I'm going to have a beach body by summer? I don't think so. Although some of us seem to be a whole lot better at reaching our goals than others. Take TCU, for example. The Horned Frogs began the 2022 college football season with the resolve to win the national football championship. And the last I heard, they were making great strides towards this goal. What's that? Georgia won. And by 51, people that went a football game, that was a beatdown. Man, that must have been some long, sad drive back to Texas. Go dogs! What can I say? Hey, I like to root for a winner. It's a lot more fun than losing. Here's looking at you, Chargers, and being up 27 points at halftime. Okay, who else has been winning big lately? Oh, that's right. The Republicans took control of the House. That's big news. Sure, it's a narrow lead, but that's all it takes to bring some sense back to this government. Now that we have Marjorie Taylor Greene on the Homeland Security Oversight Committee, you know something? We don't have to worry about space lasers starting more wildfires in California. Hold on, wait a minute. Did she really say that space laser? Come on, people. Ugh. Okay, so the government has once again resolved to be as dysfunctional as possible. What else can we expect of them? And of course, I know you'll all be resolving to buy more metric fasteners from Euroling. Considering last year was our biggest year ever, it looks like most of you, not all of you, but most of you are really dedicated to this goal. I just want everybody to know we believe in you. We know that you can buy more metric nuts, bolts, screws, washers, whatever you need in 2023. Wait a minute. Can we make that our new catchphrase? Whatever you need in 2023. Hey, somebody get the copyright attorneys on the phone before our competition gets to this one. All joking aside, I do have some real resolutions that I plan on working on this year. You know, January is a great time to rededicate yourself to doing good work. For me, that means spending more time in my Bible, spending more time with my family, giving back to the community around me, and hoping that I'm getting better at doing these vlogs. But based on your reaction so far, maybe I'll start that one in February with my love log. Woohoo! Here's to a great year in 2023. If you set a resolution, I hope you choose something that fills your heart and spirit. It's a lot easier to reach your goals when you love what you do. Until next time, people, penlin out.